All right, I just want to talk really quick about this uh, incredibly dangerous, divisive, and stupid uh, kind of binary way of thinking we have in this country, this, uh, this left versus right paradigm for arriving at answers. It is, and what I mean by that is the fact that people very often identify with their political beliefs. Their, their political views become their identity, and they become anchored to who they see themselves as, so they become less willing to refine their views. And they often arrive at their views for emotional reasons that they then later rationalize by surrounding themselves with data and people and media and, and confirmatory evidence. So they have this kind of believing brain, as uh, Michael Shermer talks about, and that cognitive science, moral psychology talk about, where people arrive at things for emotional reasons in general. And then they, they later rationalize it. And smart people are better at doing this. They call this the smart idiot effect. And if people are entrenched in a belief and committed to it, and they then become educated on something like global warming or evolution or, you know, uh, for the left it's often, uh, you know, vaccinations or GMOs or whatever. And they, they're exposed to the facts and they're educated in ways that show their views to be incorrect. They will then double down. And alongside this, we become more tribal and polarized. So people often identify more with their in-group and bond against the outgroup. They shut up their minds, they're unwilling to listen. So as a result of that, they become stupider. They become less willing to honestly self-reflect on their views. And people on both sides have the stupid notion that they arrived at all their answers across a dozen issues from foreign policy to economics to gun control to global warming to evolution to stem cells to uh, safety nets, poverty, criminal justice, we just war, foreign policy, everything across the board. And that they have the right answers. Not only do they have the right answers on every single issue, and that the answers line up neatly on this platform, but millions of their comrades, millions of their fellow political uh, believers also have all these same answers, and that they arrived at these answers rationally, using their prefrontal cortex through independent reasoning, that they didn't arrive at these answers emotionally, and that they're, they're right on every issue, the other side is wrong on every issue, and that the axis perfectly aligns in a way that favors their views on this range of a dozen issues against the other side. And this is complete bullshit. This is a problem that we have to be brutally honest about, and that we have to uh, force both sides to, to be willing to confront amongst themselves, to have their own monologues of skepticism and critique, and just call bullshit by the millions, starting with YouTube videos, starting with a kind of reason challenge we can have, sort of like the uh, Gracie challenge in jiu-jitsu. You know, pit someone who's ideological on the left and the right against someone who's a skeptic or a scientific thinker. Pick an issue and let them have a conversation. And show me how ideology and this dogmatism we see in politics is, is a better way to arrive at answers than being skeptical, than being reasonable, than being willing to change your mind when the evidence presents itself differently than what you believe to be willing to align your views with reality and to be able to be honest enough and humble enough to examine the evidence and to listen to argument and expose yourself to views outside your bubble and to step outside your comfort zone and to have the courage to do this. We need this on both sides. If you're a liberal, you are wrong on some issues. If you're a conservative, you're wrong on some issues. If you're waving a don't tread on me flag and you live out in the middle of Kansas or the Midwest and you don't want to listen to what anyone has to say outside your uh, idea tribe, you are wrong. If you're a liberal in Portland or stuck in your social justice bubble in a fucking Ivy League school somewhere and you don't want to listen to anything a conservative has to say, you need to pull your privileged head out of your ass. You are wrong on some issues. Be willing to be exposed to different views. Be honest enough to step outside your bubble and stop pretending to know things you don't know. Stop pretending to have all the views across a dozen issues that you've somehow arrived at through your own reasoning. Taking a course in critical race theory does not qualify you to have all the answers on race and gender. You know, listening to Sean Handy for 10 years does not equip you to be right on a dozen, you know, on everything from foreign policy to gun control to the minimum wage without doing the actual research that economists do or that social scientists do. This, uh, this inverted uh, level of confidence, this, this, this inverted relationship between how confident average people are in their views and the amount of time they actually spend researching it and controlling for bias is absolutely mind-blowing and it's dangerous. It's divisive, it's stupid, and it's going to get people killed. Let's start with the issue of Black Lives Matter. Let's get people across that issue on the left and the right. Get someone from Texas to sit down with someone who lives in the projects here in New York City to sit down with a retired cop and a Black Lives activist 
and to build a dialogue with skeptics and social scientists, and to build a, a dialogue with people in the science and reason community to try to get people on all sides, to question their beliefs and better arrive at answers, and let's stop pretending to know everything, and let's try to redefine the conversational landscape across this country, because this left versus right bullshit is stupid. Most people know it, and it's the naked emperor in the room. We need a third voice, and we need to aspire to be better. Oh, thank you. Uh, movement's called Reason and Revival. My name's John Kerbo. Uh, I'm going to get a better quality camera soon. That's where I need to revise my uh, belief. Uh, damn it, thanks.